The markets have had a roller coaster ride. Let's find out what's happening. It's only the middle of the week. Elio Damato joins us from Stockopedia. Elio, how are things? Yeah, well, as you say, Raft, uh, three consecutive days of losses in the on, in the US, basically, on that S&P 500. Well, yesterday, we actually saw markets rise over there, uh, but after it closed, it came off a little bit. So ours is down currently around 0.3% at the moment. And for the record, the all order is actually rose 0.3% yesterday. So will it be carry on from here? Perhaps. We'll see. Um, anyway, our biggest issue domestically is that we don't have a big tech sector. Uh, commodities are our focus and uh, basically they were a bit mixed though i noticed iron ore bounced a bit so to nickel aluminium and oil who it too saw its own three days of consecutive selling there uh gold however uh, it fell a bit um and the base reason for those rises in commodities basic mention is a little rubbery uh that bounce in the aussie dollar that continued uh, from its low of 36 hours hours ago now at 65.1 us cents and since everyone is concerned about the dreaded r word uh there's no better example than looking at someone currently coming out of one in new zealand across the ditch uh basically they just announced that their unemployment rate rose to 4.6 percent in the second quarter which is slightly less than expected and employment growth actually rose rather than fell as expected so it doesn't seem too bad does it anyway of course uh treasurer jiri chalmers would say uh that a big spending government is not contributing to inflation i mean look at the price of bitcoin after all uh rallying last night would you believe anyway uh chairman bullock uh, told us yesterday uh, what we already knew ain't no rate cuts coming till christmas at least but i say never say never i thought she would have learned that from her previous boss anyway our best sector this morning is energy on that oil price rebound last Last night, our worst is materials as the market ain't buying the bouncer either with uh, all the majors like BHP and Rio down about a percent. In corporate news, uh, unlike Magellan, who reported theirs yesterday, fund manager QG, uh, Q, uh, sorry, GQG Partners, uh, they announced strong net inflows across their entire business. So the stock's up some 2.8% at the moment. And though Cheery Chalmers may be sad on Chairman Bullock's recent assessment on interest rates, he'll be happy to know that Camberwell-based New and Pharmaceuticals, who have a drug to help with the treatment of Rett's disease, is now paying tax after a strong quarterly result. Now, actually, they're in a trading halt this morning as they look to publish results on its phase two clinical trial into Angel Man Syndrome. Uh, the stock last traded at $17.09. And that was all in our busy market open, Raf. Thank you very much, Elio D'Amato there at Stockopedia.